Are we live now? We are live. Okay. Welcome, everybody, and thank you, Sherry, for having me speak today and come visit with my friends here. I love Business Over Coffee. I've been an advisor for a couple of years now, and it's one of my main networking groups that I try to stay involved in on a regular basis. Um, Business Over Coffee has done great things for me as a company. I've met people. I've met uh, people that have become my customers, my friends, and probably better than anything, they've referred me to their friends and customers for business. Um, again, my name is Bruce Orpit, and I own a franchise called Proforma South Print. And my franchise is part of a larger company, Proforma, which we have over 800 franchises throughout the U.S. and in Canada. And we're listed sometimes second, sometimes third, either second or third largest promotional product distributor. And when I say that, you know, we have the ability to give you just about anything you could possibly want with your name on it and do so at probably the best price. So love to earn your business, but now on to leadership. <clears throat> Today I want to talk about leadership. So I bought a bucket full of gumdrops. <laughs> but what I want you to do is I want you to guess how many gumdrops are in here. And I've got a door prize. For you guys that are present here today, for the closest to this number, and I will tell you, it falls between one and five hundred. So I've already given you great clues. And then for you guys out on Twitter, of course, I want you to twit in your answers. And if somebody nails it on Twitter, I'll sh I'll give you another door prize, Sherry. You can give it to me. Okay. Fair enough. Good. Okay. All right. Leadership, to me, leadership is something that um, I personally am not an expert on it by any means. I do, uh, in, during my lifetime, I have tried to uh, attain leadership in all the different areas of my life. I grew up in the restaurant business and uh, worked in that for 20 years and, of course, went from busboy to general manager. I was always striving to get to the next level. Uh, from there, I went on to the nonprofit industry and ended up being uh, a district director for muscular dystrophy, and then moved into uh, a company called Cellular South, which is now Ceasefire, and I worked with them nine years branding that phone company here in the Memphis area. Uh, I was the person on the ground because they were a brand new company here, and uh, my job was to make sure that everybody knew who Cellular South was, and so that's what I did. I went out and met people. And to me, you know, the most important part of leadership, whether it's guiding someone that works for you or leading in the community or uh, doing something positive within your company, is you want to be honest, you want, you want to have integrity, you know, all those things that you always hear. But I do have some things I want to kind of expound on. Um, you, you want to delegate. You know, that's, that's something that's been one of my pet peeves in life is when a leader thinks that they have to tell you how to do everything and this is how I want you to do it and that's how it's got to be done, period. And that, to me, that's never motivated me. That's always turned me off. And so when I lead, I try to not do that and I try to make a point to not do that. Someone very close to me uh, who works in the school system uh, has been working for a gentleman for probably 14 years and I know that they're going through a change this year and she's gone from a person that empowers them to a person that's very very micromanaging and I, I know that can be tough and so you know those are things that that I encourage you to at least think about when you're when you're leading or when you're involved in something you know do it from a standpoint empower your people they will get a lot more work done they'll have wind in their sails um, Another point in leadership that I, that I tend to focus on <clears throat> is communicate. You know, you've got to communicate. You know, not just, not just on a text, not just on an email. Call a person every now and then. You know, because if you talk to a person and develop a relationship, you will have a good relationship with that person. And so in, in today's society, it, it almost seems like everybody is just walking around with their nose in their phone. Uh, I, I, I have a new product that I want to tell you all about. It's called a phone cone. You wear it on your head like one of the dogs do so they can't scratch. Well, this is so you can't look down at your phone. 
communicate with people truly, you know, get to know them verbally, you know, the art of communication is wonderful. Um, again, getting back to leadership is sense of urgency, you know, sh show that sense of urgency when you are out in the community or when you are running your business because, you know, that's truly everything. You know, if somebody calls you or somebody calls me, for example, I always call them back. That, you know, that's one thing you can, you can count on me. I will call you back and I will follow through. And those are the things that are important to me because, you know, I won't just set something over here and say, well, I'll just get to it. Now, I know a lot of people that do that and I know it drives me up the wall. So just sense of urgency and following through with things, you know, that'll make you a better person, make you a better leader. <clears throat> Moving on. Excuse me, my phone blacked out on me. One thing that is probably more important to me than anything is humor, a sense of humor. Without a sense of humor, I would have probably already put a gun to my head. Because, you know, life is full of ups and downs, and, you know, it's, it's, it's not rocket science. You know, we're put here, this is a gift. It's something I value, and, you know, I've been here, and I've been here. And, you know, I probably won't stay here or here either. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, a series of roller coasters. And, you know, don't take yourself too seriously to where you're not having fun, because if you're not having fun, you're not going to present yourself well, and you're not going to be a good leader. So have fun with what you're doing. Um, one more thing is uh, keep it real. You know, don't, don't try to be something that you're not. Uh, I know I don't try to be anything I'm not. You know, I like to have fun. I love marketing. I love putting together a logo for a coffee cup or telling you how many freaking uh, gumdrops are in this bottle. Something different. Something people will remember me by because I want to be remembered. I want people to say good things about me. Uh, maybe even sometimes say bad things about me because you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be myself. And I'm not going to be a, a person or a leader that uh, says something that I don't myself personally practice or ask you to do something that I won't do. And so those are things that are very important to me because I grew up the hard way, you know, getting it done and building it myself. Um, and, you know, passion is very important. You, you've got to love what you do because if you don't love what you do, you're probably not going to be doing it very long because... Trust me, there's, there's, it's, just, it's, it's hard out there. You've got to have fun with what you're doing so you can drive yourself, so you can uh, present a positive image to people. Because if you're doing something you don't like, you know, your employee or your client or whomever it may be can, can see that. You know, it's all about image, which is getting back to me, image. That's what I do. I help you build an image. For instance, if you give somebody a business card, your business cards look like blank. The first thing they're going to think about you is, eh, I don't know if I want to do business with that person because their business card's not so hot. What does that say about them? Or your clothes? You know, what if you're all, you know, what if you're wearing uh, bell bottoms out to here and a t-shirt and you hadn't had a bath in a week, you know? They're probably not going to want to do business with you and they're probably not going to want to follow you if you're trying to lead them. But if you look good and you're honest and you have a sense of humor about things and you're real, then, you know, people will follow you and your clients will probably be happy because they'll be working with somebody that they like to hear, that they like to see, that they know is going to make them feel good. So, you know, those are the things that are important to me about leadership. Um, you know, just going back, you know, to, to recap, if you want to write these down, you know, you've probably already written them down today with, I don't know, 10 other speakers you know, that know a lot more about leadership than I do. And uh, getting back to Shelly Bauer, it's certainly my luck of the draw to follow her, a professional speaker. So here we are, my list, 10 traits. Image, honesty, integrity, delegate, communicate, empower, don't delegate. Sense of urgency, humor, passion, and keep it real. And again, I want to thank all you guys and it's, it's just fun to be here, and I love uh, Sherry. Thanks for having me, and I uh, hope that uh, you'll have me back. All right, what do we have going on virtually? Twitter, Facebook, and questions while we're looking for...
Did you just announce that? I'm, I'm sorry, I had to exit out. Gina? I had a comment. So one of the things that you said that really is one of the things I always struggle with is I felt as a leader that I need to be okay with doing it if I'm going to delegate. Right. Of course. Yeah. yeah that's that's to me that is so important. Mm -hmm. You know, because if I even for a second Let's say you're my boss and yeah. you ask me to do something and I know you won't do it. Yeah. I'm going to resent you right. right off the bat. Exactly. And have a negative swirl going on in my head that first exactly. five seconds. Absolutely. And so, and that's, that's so important. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why, you know, you, you've got to just, and, you know, morally, you know, you've got to have, have all those things in line with what you think is right and wrong and just do what you think is best. I mean, obviously, you've got to do what your boss asks you to do. Yeah. But, but you also want to try to put yourself in the best posi position to where you're working with somebody you're happy with and those, you don't have to have those negative thoughts going on in your head. Absolutely. We are going to virtual. Uh, we have a retweet and we also have a favorite. So let's give it up to our virtual audience. Yay. And uh, Bruce, let's take one more question and, or comment from the audience. One more. Sure. You don't mind. Image, honesty, integrity, delegate, communicate, and power don't delegate. Sense of urgency, humor, passion, and keep it real. Love it. Everybody say keep it real. Keep it real. Okay. <laughs> we need a quote on this. You've got some business quotes already coming in. Okay. Let's wrap it up. I'll tell you right now, two hundred and six dollars for a thousand. Full for color. A thousand. Full color. All right, all right. Everybody yeah. give it up. Yeah. We're bringing everyone together. Bring your guesses to me. Yeah. 253. 236. One hundred and fifty three. Ninety five.